Hey, it's Dave from the Camera Store. I'm gonna give you three tips for shooting in cold weather. Yesterday we had a great opportunity to work with Paul Zitzka in his workshop and we stayed up way too late photographing the stars and having a lot of fun on Lake Vermilion. And I thought it'd be good today to talk about three things I learned about shooting in the cold weather. And the first one is clothing. I mean, us photographers are kind of the very few people who just sort of stand around outside, not generating a lot of heat. If you're cross country skiing, that's one thing. You're generating a lot of heat when you're doing it, but we stand around, we're waiting for things to happen, waiting for stars, waiting for clouds. We get really cold, so dress appropriately overdress that's all you need one thing that I always forget or underutilize are gloves invest in a good quality set of gloves or mittens because we are gonna be using them a lot and these cameras don't work great when you're using mittens so we have to take our hands in and out of our gloves quite a bit when we're adjusting these small little dials and making our changes to our settings so invest in a great quality of gloves your hands will love you for it so I had this great idea of me against this epic mountain background with a walking stick I found and became one with nature but it's pretty, yeah. So let's talk about my second tip. When it's cold outside, something that doesn't last very long are your batteries in your camera. So I do recommend carrying at least one or two batteries as a spare. That way we can keep them close to our core inside of our jackets, not on the outside pockets, but on the inside jackets where they stay nice and warm. And don't feel bad if you need to swap them out fair amount and keep the one that you're working with always a little bit warmer. You're gonna get the most out of your batteries that way. Keep your batteries as warm as you can when you're shooting conditions when it's this cold. You're gonna enjoy it. We spent all this time and effort to get out here to the wilderness. The last thing we want are dead battery where we can't capture anything at all. Now the third thing I want to talk about and I discovered last night more than ever is to invest in a carbon fiber tripod. Now the reason I like carbon fiber tripods over aluminum is they tend to dampen vibration better than aluminum tripods do in the first place. But when the weather turns south and it gets cold, carbon fiber doesn't get hot or cold where aluminum does. So when you're taking your hands out of those nice warm mitts or gloves and have to make adjustments to your tripod, it's much easier to handle a carbon fiber tripod than aluminum that's gonna freeze your hands. So they're well worth the investment. Your wallet might not thank you, but your cold hands certainly will. So there certainly is a lot more to shooting in cold weather than those three tips, but those are certainly three things that really came to mind last night when I was photographing. Dress appropriately. I mean, you wanna be comfortable when you're out shooting. Keep your batteries warm so you can keep shooting and invest in a carbon fiber tripod. It's gonna be much easier to deal with, help with stability, and certainly your hands are gonna like that. So if you have some tips for shooting in cold weather, let me know in the comments down below. Follow us both on Instagram and please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll catch you again next time. Hey, thanks for sticking around and watching this somewhat chilly episode. If you want to check out more of our recent content, click up here. And if you're Canadian and want to shop local, check out thecamerastore.com down here.